Two weeks ago I posted the Best Momentum Indicator Part 2 video, in which I backtested, sorted and ranked 26 different momentum indicators to find the best one. To complete this project I created 26 different trading strategy scripts, which generated tens of thousands of backtest results. So I decided to take a look on those backtest results, I sorted them by net profit, total cost rates, profit factor, max drawdown and so on, and got 8 backtests that met my criteria. And surprisingly, all of those were produced on the BTCUSDT 2 hour chart. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see all the 8 backtest results that made the cut, and I will make a separate video of those, cause it would take too long to show them all in this video. The top 2 results were generated by the RMI or Relative Momentum Index with an EMA. So I decided to optimize the strategy script and share the best settings with you. And the results, they were great. I also checked other assets and found that the ETUSDT pair is even more profitable. In this video I will show you what I came up with, explaining the indicators needed and the rules of the strategy. And we will take a deeper look on the backtest results too. Today's script and all the others are included in the Smart Shader tier package on my Patreon if you want to check it out or just support the channel. Hello everyone and welcome to TradeSmart, if you are new here I create, backtest and optimize objective rules based strategies that can be turned into automated trading bots. If you are interested in that, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. With that out of the way, now let's get right into it. For this strategy first head over to trading view, then set up the BTCUSDT 2 hour chart. Once you got that we will need to add our indicators. For this strategy we will use 1, 2, 3 and 4 indicators. I know that with the free plan you can only add up to 2 indicators, but if you have access to our strategy script, that's the only indicator you will need, you can set up everything right inside. Open up the indicators tab and first type in super trend, that will be our entry signal indicator, add this one to your chart. Then type in range, filter, this will be our exit signal indicator, add this one. And finally the momentum indicator of this strategy, which will be the RMI or relative momentum index, this one, with an EMA, so add a moving average exponential too. Ok, now you have all of the indicators on the chart, but the EMA needs to be on the RMI indicator, so click on it and start pulling it down, then release it. This way the EMA will be displayed on the RMI indicator. Once you got it there, just double click and set its source to RMI. You can color it however you like, I set it to white. Ok, we still need to change a few settings, so first open up the super trend, set the ATR period to 20, the source to HL2 and the multiplier to 1.2. Then go to the styles tab, uncheck everything except the buy signal cause we will only need that and you are all set with this one. Then open up the range filter which is our exit signal indicator, set the sampling to 175 and the range multiplier to 4. Then go to the styles tab and uncheck everything except the sell signal as that will be our exit signal. Next open up the RMI. Set its length to 10, the momentum length to also 10, then in the style step you can uncheck everything except the RMI. Finally on the EMA, we need to set its length to 10 and keep in mind that its source is RMI, and in the style tab I colored it white. Fine, so this is the super trend with the buy signals, and this is the range filter with the sell signals. But what are the rules for entries? This strategy is a long only strategy, so I won't be explaining short entries, just longs. Let's take a look. For a long entry we need a buy signal from the super trend and the RMI line needs to be above the RMI based EMA. RMI line is the blue line and the RMI based EMA is the white line. So this would have been a valid long entry, this is not a valid long entry, this is not a valid long entry and this is another valid long entry. And if I make our script visible, you can see that the script entered here and here. With this strategy we don't have a fixed stop loss nor a fixed take profit level, we will use the range filter which prints these sell signals to exit each trade. Also we enter into every valid entry signal even if we have a position currently open. So this is a valid entry, this is another valid entry, here is another valid entry. And finally we get a sell signal from the range filter right there. 
Let's see how good the first long entry was. We entered there and exited right there. This trade would have captured a 14% move to the upside. Well, that's all. Now let's take a look on the script and the backtest results. In the script you can change all of the indicator values, you can choose the trade direction and so on. In the properties tab, for the backtest I set up a $10,000 initial capital, a $20,000 position sizing on each trade and the pyramiding should be set to 100. The commission rate will be a 0.1% risk per trade as we are trading crypto, but you can easily get a 0.05% and the slippage should be set to 2 ticks. And here are the results for the BTCUSDT 2 hour chart for the last 4 years. Right out of the gate I can see that the max drawdown is a bit high, so let's decrease the position sizing, for example 15,000. This looks much better. Throughout these 4 years, this strategy took 247 trades, generated almost 1000% net profit with a 2.5 profit factor and 25% maximum drawdown. The equity curve looks stable and steadily uptrending, no huge pullbacks, there are a few flat periods like this one or this one, but that's usually the case with almost every strategy. For those who are interested, here is the performance summary tab. And let's see how the buy and hold performs. It easily outperforms the buy and hold by around doubling the profits. Now let's take a look on lower and higher time frames and then let me show you the results for ETH USDT which is even better. On the one hour it's profitable but it's definitely not good for trading, we have huge drawdowns and just a sideways trending equity curve. 30 minutes is also profitable but the same case, this is a huge drawdown, it's not good for trading and 15 minute is losing. What about the higher time frames? The 4 hour chart is not that good either. And the daily, it's profitable but only 24 trades. Although it generated 1800% profit. Ok, let's see the ETH USDT pair. And yes, these are the results for the 2 hour chart and as you can see the max drawdown is pretty low so let's increase that position sizing. Let's go back to 20,000. Now it's around 20%, that's acceptable. This is again for the last 4 years of price data. During this period the script took 232 trades, generated 2000% net profit with 48% win rate, 2.6 profit factor which is great and as I said only a 20% maximum drawdown. The equity curve is a bit strange, I noticed it with a few strategies that the first few trades on crypto usually gains a lot of the profits. But if you just look at the performance after that, it's still pretty good, steadily uptrending equity curve with one bigger pullback, probably this was the last bear market, but then it easily recovered and continued this way up. Comparing it to the buy and hold, the strategy easily outperforms it, but what about the after optimization date results? So this script was optimized here the 1st of January 2024, so let's set that to the start date and the end date to the 1st of August. In this period, it still performs amazing, 31 trades, 330% net profit, 4 profit factor, 61% win rate and 19% maximum drawdown. But what about the BTC USDT after optimization performance? Let's take a look. Here the case is the same, 23 trades, 140% net profit, 60% win rate, 3.5 profit factor and a bit high 40% maximum drawdown. So let's decrease the order size to 15,000. Now it's still 31, maybe a 12,000 will do. Yes, it's now around the 25% and it still outperforms the buy and hold. Well, that's this strategy, let me know what you think and let me know if I should showcase the other 7 top performer in the best momentum indicator video. And that wraps up today's video. If you like this one, make sure to drop a like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. It really helps out the channel. Also check out our Patreon page if you want to get access to the open source script of today's strategy and to dozens of more. If you want to find out which is the best momentum indicator on TradingView, check out this video. Or if you are interested in a simple trading strategy that I coded with ChatGPT, check out this video. As always, thank you all for watching, have an amazing day and until next time, trade smart.